This is how to roll back DJI Go for iOS. First off, access my YouTube video. Scroll down to the comments and open it up by clicking show more. Click the version sheet. This will open a Google Docs. On the version sheet, find the DJI Go app version that you want. I'm going to pick 2.9.2. Copy the text to the left in column A. Close this window and open the program called Charles. Charles will take a minute to open since it's a trial. Open iTunes as well. In iTunes, search the store for DJI Go. Do not start the download yet. Over in the Charles app, up on the top, click Proxy and check Enable Breakpoints. Go back to DJI Go and click Get to start the download. On the left, it will have interrupted the request. On the top, there's a tab titled Edit Request. Click that. Scroll down to the bottom and there's another tab titled XML Text. Click that. Within this window, up on top, you'll see a string value. Double click on this text and paste in the text that we copied from that Google Doc earlier. On the bottom, click the Execute button. If prompted, click the Execute button a second time. Within iTunes, put in your password. Back in Charles, you'll be prompted two more times before the download starts. Click Execute both times. Back in iTunes, you'll notice that the download has started. It's a little bit smaller because I picked an older version. Let the download finish, and then you can go back into your apps within iTunes to double check the version. Click on My Apps. Right click on DJI Go and click Get Info. This will bring up the version and you can see that we redownloaded the old version. Click OK. Close Charles and then plug your iPad or your iPhone in. Access the device within iTunes. Click on Apps and remove the current installed version. Apply that change. Choose Remove, and this will remove the current version of DJI Go from your iPad or your iPhone. Now click the Install button again, click Apply, and this will re-download the version of DJI Go that you just downloaded. Give it a second for it to download or for it to copy over to your device. And then once it's done syncing and copying, go to your iPad or your iPhone, locate the DJI Go app, and open it. If you're prompted for access to the camera or anything else, go ahead and click Allow. You can skip their opening marketing and agree to the EULA. This shows you that it's a brand new installed version. If you go into Me and Settings, you can see that we've got the old version installed again. In my case, 2.9.2. .2. Good luck and happy flying.